What's up everybody, this is Bruce, aka Geektacular, and today I've got another unboxing for you. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing the brand new Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition Dungeon Master screen Reincarnated. So this is basically sort of the second version of the official um, DM screen for Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. Um, and I actually have the original one here as well, so once I open this up, we can kind of compare and contrast them some. But I just wanted to show it to you sealed in case you're thinking about picking it up, what exactly it looks like. Um, so it does come shrink-wrapped here, and it's got a very cool, similar but different uh, artwork on it here from the first one. Master the game with this indispensable tool. <laughs> I like uh, DM screens just because I find them very useful, and I tend to forget things um, when I'm DMing, and uh, I tend to be kind of slow at uh, <laughs> at realizing uh, where the uh, tables and all that are in the book. So having a reference like this is definitely nice. So here's the side. So you can put it on a shelf. It does sort of have this slip, this outer uh, slip piece of paper here. So it does have a little bit of a spine um, that you can remove when you when you take it off to use it. But you can also slip it on your bookshelf. Here is the back. Again, artwork kind of wraps around here. Just some basic info. UPC, all that good stuff. So. There's no stickers or anything on the outside, so let me see if I can get the plastic wrap off without too much trouble here. There we go. That was easy enough. All right, so um, it's kind of got this matte printed um, outer slip, slip cover here. And that just comes off. It's not even attached. It's not attached with any kind of adhesive or anything like that. There's nothing on the inside. So you can um, you can just throw this aside, keep it on your bookshelf. So if you want to put this back on your shelf, um, you can do that easily. And so here we go. Um, so this is hard, as you can hear. It is glossy, full color. Um, it has four panels here, and I'll do my best to kind of show you the artwork on the outside. So when you're using it, um, you would kind of have it set up something like this, and this is the artwork that your players will see. So I'm just going to kind of scroll it across here. So it's got this like oceanic island um, painted artwork here. The giant dragon flying above it. And then his wing kind of extends out on the other end. Like here. And then you get the Dungeons and Dragons symbol there. So it kind of looks like that when it's um when it's laid out. It's the same size as the old one too, I believe, but I'll compare that in a second here. So, just to show you what's inside of here, um, this is, it gives you a little primer for different uh, 3D shapes and where the point of origin is, which is helpful for spell casting and things like that, where you have to determine, you know, if something reaches from its origin point to, you know, whatever the target is. You have a table of actions in combat. Um, then you have information about different kinds of jumping, suffocating, concentration, um, and then a list of things you can do on your turn. The second pane here, so this first pane is kind of like um, actions and your, your combat turn, stuff that relates to that. The second panel here is about conditions. Um, it's kind of the second panel and then a little bit of the next panel as well. So this whole second panel just covers all the different kinds of conditions, uh, petrified, poison, paralyzed, invisible, blinded, charmed, deafened, etc. Um, it explains sort of the special rules with those. And then, as I said, it extends past the second um, quadrant here to like the third part of the screen. So there's a little bit extra on here. 
Um, and then the rest of the third uh, part of the screen looks like it has to do with um, damage, DC checks, armor class, things like that. Um, and different skills. So this is mostly like checks, basically. Um, and then the final screen here um, has to do with um, basic, so basic uh, purchasing, so basic costs of, uh, of different things like meals, days at inns, mead, uh, ale, etc., wine. So um, whenever you meander into a town, this is a good quick reference for how much you should be paying for stuff, basically, so you don't have to make it up off the cuff. Um, and then this has a lot to do with distance. So I would say this last one um, it has to do with cover, um, how far things can throw light, um, different services, uh, obscured areas, things like that, encounter distances in different locations. Um, and then this also has kind of a diagram of sort of this difference in sizes. So something that's small, tiny, large, huge, and gargantuan sort of in scale with each other. So that way you can kind of imagine what um, each size of monster uh, is like in comparison. So I would say the first panel, sorry if it's not uh, focusing all the way here, there's a lot of stuff on the uh, <laughs> on the page, so it's hard for it to focus. But I would say the first panel is um, combat, second panel is conditions, third panel are uh, checks, um, or role, I guess role-related things. And the fourth panel is basically adventuring slash travel slash um, purchases, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that is the Dungeon Master screen reincarnated here. And just for a quick reference, um, let me show you, I'll put that off to the side here. Let me show you the original D&D 5e Dungeon Master screen. So this is the first version that came out um, several years ago. Uh, so this has the same sort of like slip, outer slip cover here. And the spines, as you can see, um, they look pretty similar here, except this one obviously just says reincarnated. But when they're on the shelf, they'll look pretty similar. This one actually had a cool um, poster on the inside, which I kind of wish they had done with this. So I'm a little sad that they didn't have some kind of artwork or poster on the inside of here. But that's okay. Um, again, dragon design, but slightly different. It's got some some creatures in it, um, some players, and it's in a like a mine. So a little bit different look there. Um, so as you can see, this whole first panel in the old one is about making NPCs uh, randomly. So rolling for random attributes for an NPC. So this whole thing was gotten rid of. That was replaced with more combat related stuff, um, which I think is a lot more useful than uh, creating NPCs on the fly because you're only going to be doing that occasionally and you can do that yourself or you can do that beforehand. Um, it's much more handy to have tables and charts here that have to do with um, combat and actually, you know, controlling combat and things like that. Second panel and um, the first part of the third panel are basically identical. They have to do with conditions, so I think that's fine. I think that's good to have there. Um, and then it has, I think there's more information um, in the third panel on the new DM screen about checks. Um, and then let's see. Again, this one, so this one, as you can see, like in the fourth panel here, if I can show you more up close, this has stuff about making random um, finds. Um, random uh, events that happen. 
So this one seems a lot more focused on rolling and creating like random encounters, random people, random events, things like that. All that stuff has basically more or less been removed um, in the reincarnated screen um, in favor of more referential charts and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, so like that last one is totally different. It does still have information about obscured areas, light, etc. But um, they replace all the stuff that lets you roll dice to come up with random attributes and replace that with more charts that'll help you steer the game. So I think that's a good idea because I think most of that stuff you can come up with before the game. Or if you have, you know, a monster manual or you're running a campaign, you'll already have all those NPCs and all their attributes and stuff like that. So you don't particularly need to come up with that on the fly uh, as the DM, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that is my unboxing for the D&D 5e Dungeon Master screen reincarnated. So thanks a lot for watching this. Uh, if you like this unboxing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. If you like these kinds of unboxings, if you like um, fantasy, sci-fi, movies, TV shows, video games, anime, collectibles, anything like that, go ahead and click subscribe down below. And also be sure to hit that notification bell so that way you won't miss out on any of my future content. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.